If you haven't yet unboxed the iPad, remove the protective little bag. And hold down the power button till it starts booting. After a friendly welcome, select your language, your region, go through the quick start, add Wi-Fi, continue, avoid face ID, don't use passcode is my choice, don't transfer apps and data unless you really want to, log into Apple ID or you will have to do that later, use two-factor authentication if that applies, Send the terms by email is my preference, and then next. Install updates manually, disable location service is my preference. Set up later in settings. Don't share analytics. Continue with true tone display. I choose dark. And go through the beginner steps. These are actually quite useful. So swipe up in three different ways for three different functions. And swipe down in the top right corner for all the tools. I'm just gonna delete Apple TV, never gonna use that. And I'm gonna go to the Apple Store, even though I could have just picked the App Store. Then I have to sign in. And yes, and I have to enter my password again. You might have to review the terms. You have no choice but to continue. In the App Store I have to agree to the terms and conditions. It didn't work initially. I clicked the terms and conditions. That might have helped. Then it continued, as it should have. And here just press Next and fill out what is required. So, Next and it tells you what needs to be filled in. I'm just filling in whatever. Okay, go next. That's complete. Now you can start searching. Search for Procreate. P-R-O-C-R-E-A-T-E. Procreate. Click Procreate, the one with this logo, and press Install, the blue icon. Now you have to pay, so click Purchase and sign in once more. I suggest to always require a password, not after 15 minutes, but always. And now you have to add payment information finally. Add payment method. PayPal is an option. If you choose PayPal, click login to PayPal. All right, get your email and uh, password and type them in. Once that is done, wait. Confirm. Just swipe down to see the button to confirm. Payment is being added. Once again you are asked to confirm the purchase. Purchase. Once again you have to enter the password. Press sign in. And done. Alright, after a little bit it starts downloading. Now you have to wait for this blue circle to finish. Once that is done, you can press the open icon. And here it is, Procreate. To get started, just press one of the existing images. You can swipe with your finger to paint, but get your Apple Pen ready. The Apple Pencil uses Bluetooth, 
So Bluetooth has to be turned on and it will not work initially, like the very first time. You have to first connect it, not on the left, but instead on the right. You see this graphic with a 3D pencil and a welcome screen. Go through the Procreate tutorial. Use your Apple Pencil to draw and double tap on it, on its flat side, to switch between eraser and uh, whatever pen you have selected. You can change this setting in the settings of Procreate. It doesn't have to be the eraser. Well, and then you can just go nuts painting. You can, of course, use two fingers to zoom in and out and rotate. And, of course, there's pressure sensitivity, which also is configurable. Just snap the pencil back to the magnet and you're done. Enjoy Procreate. Ciao.